So you have this melody that you downloaded or perhaps you created it yourself. Now what if you already used it? Then it becomes useless, right? No, absolutely not. Today you're about to learn how to chop up your samples and turn them into a brand new creative masterpiece. First, load in your sample. I found this one on Splice. It's a very simple melody. Match the BPM of your project with the sample. Usually the BPM will be in the name. Now to chop it up, double click it to open up the sampler. Then in here, right click the waveform and choose open in Fruity Slicer. This is where the magic happens. Click on the little razor icon. This will show you a menu of types of shops. Now to make things easy, choose beat. Now your sample is sliced up. Every part is like a note in the piano roll, but more about that in a second. First we're gonna mess with these settings. Chances are that you can hear pops and clicks. This is because the transition between these cuts are not smooth. But of course we can make them smooth. First adjust the pitch shifter simply until you like it. Try to shift it in 100 semitones. That will make it easier to add instruments afterwards. You'll understand in a second. Then play around with the time stretcher. If you make it play faster, you will hear an empty space on every slice. If you lengthen it, the chops will sound stretched. It's personal preference, but leaving a small gap will also give you more bounce. If you can still hear the clicks, try increasing the attack. This will make the transition between the cuts smoother. It's like having two clips in the playlist and making the second one fade in. And here comes another cool trick. If you select one of the clips, you can actually reverse it. This can make it sound really cool. Alright, once you're satisfied, we're gonna rearrange the chops. In the channel rack, open up Fruity Slicer's piano roll. Here you can see all the chops we just created. You can actually just delete them. Now what I like to do is play random notes on my MIDI keyboard to find a combination of chops that work. If you don't have one, enable the piano keyboard on top and now you can simply use your typing keyboard as a piano. You could also drag in notes randomly and see which one fits well. Now definitely play around with the length of the notes to create a different rhythm from the original sample. And this is what I came up with. That is amazing. Now we're gonna make the melody breathe. And to do that, go to the control menu and find the cutoff property. This will allow you to draw a curve which you can use to control the high frequencies. I like to gradually lower the cutoff of the last three notes in the first and the second part. This will again make the melody breathe. Next, we're gonna add some slides. To do that, draw a note in the piano roll and double click it. Enable the slide property and then click on accept. Now you can drag it wherever you want and then the note on top will slide down to your slide note. Now the shorter you make it, the faster the slide will be. You can play around with it. I like to add a slide at the end of the melody. Now the closer you put the note to your melody, the more subtle the slide will be. And that sounds amazing, but now it's time to add an 808 to the loop. First, drag your 808 in the channel rack. To prevent it from crashing, right click it and choose cut itself. Now you can create a super simple 808 pattern. And I also added a simple trap drum pattern. And this is what it sounds like. And that sounds amazing. Next, you need to learn how to use the frequency splitter to make your music sound outstanding. So to continue the lesson, click the video on my left. Goodbye.